Well, I'm happy to go home after 34 years. Mm -hmm. uh, when I started out in 74, 75, uh, working up here was very pleasant and you could get things achieved. And I, I really enjoyed it. But as the years wore on and things changed a little bit, and now things have changed totally, and it's, it's, it's uncomfortable to me. I'll miss, you know, the experiences in my earlier years. I'll miss that. But these experiences in my, the latter part that I serve, I, I, I won't miss that because... I mean, things have gotten tense. Everything is, it's, it's just too, I don't mind partisan politics. Sure. I, I think the two-party system is good for America, but I don't think you ought to make everything partisan, you know? Democrats and Republicans, it didn't matter which party you belong to, what race or what color you are. The Senate was the Senate. And you had senatorial courtesy and rules and regulations, and you treated each other with human dignity and respect, and there was senatorial courtesy, and it was a gentleman's club and a ladies' club, and uh, no one cared about what party you belonged to and what color you are, what race, male, female. You have little boys coming up in now, don't hardly know where the restroom or the outhouse is chair committee. Here I've been around here a hundred years, you know, and it's getting so uh, meanness come out and disrespect and tone of voice, you know. I, I said, no, I don't have to put up with this, you know. I, I, I've, I've had enough of this. <laughs> no, they, they don't have the slightest damn idea. <laughs> of what we have to go through up here. I remember when I was elected back in 74 or 75, Jim Edwards was governor, Republican, mm -hmm. the first Republican governor we had in, I guess, almost so 100 years. Yeah. And uh, he was just as nice as he could be. You would go down and I could go down to the office any time. No appointment, just walk in, talk to him. Dick Riley was Democrat, walk down, go in the office, anything. No appointment, just, just walk in. Then Carol Campbell, Republican, you could walk down and see him, talk to him, come out. Didn't make any difference. After Carol, you had my homeboy, Beasley, out of Darlington, go down and see David and talk to him, anything. The young man down there now, you don't, you don't just walk in his office. And it's hard to get an appointment. Really? And, uh, I thought it was really the first thing I thought of. I was a Democrat. I said, Democrat. Then the next thing I thought of, you know, we, black folks, the first thing we think of, <laughs> he won't let me in because I'm colored. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's what I thought uh -huh. until one day I was sitting behind some Republican senators. And they said, Casey, okay, so you. <clears throat> you have a tough time getting in the governor's office? I say, yes. They say, well, don't feel like the Long Ranger. I say, we can't go in there either. either. Yeah, so that, that, that opened my eyes up. It, 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 the first thing that come to our mind is racial, you know. Sure. It's not racial. <clears throat> and that next was partisanship. It's not partisanship. He's, he's just a different governor now. He's a fine fellow. And he, once you meet him, he's very cordial and he's very friendly. But you would catch hell getting in there to meet him, I'll tell you that.